Hey guys, it's Landon Blake with Redefined Horizons, and this is the first video, probably in probably a couple videos set that I'm going to do that just shows you how uh, we prepare a, what we call survey base drawing. So it's something that we've started doing for a new client uh, with this client's a civil engineer, and um, they occasionally will do their own topo surveys. Um, so what they like to get from us is they like to get, but they don't do their own boundaries. So what they like to get from us is they like to get um, a drawing that has the primary survey control with the, the resolved boundary work for the parcel, and they want to they want to tie the resolved boundary to the control, and then they'll take our control, go out and do their topo, and then they do do they do all their civil design. So uh, they call this a calc sheet. Uh, but we call it a survey base, kind of the, the basis of the design. And uh, so it's a little bit different than the resolved boundary drawing, and it's a little bit different than the field drawing, so it's kind of a combination of the two. Um, it doesn't have everything that's in those two drawings, but it has a couple key elements of each. So it has the control from the field drawing, and it has the resolved boundary line work from the boundary drawing. And it, it basically what we're trying to do is we're trying to make sure that the engineer puts their improvements and you know any any uh, right away footprints or lot layouts that that lands in the right place in relation to the boundary and the, and the primary survey control and so the way we're, we're helping them do that is with this survey base drawing and then after they've gone in and if it's a subdivision for example and they've done some initial you know lot layout and some other design you know layout as, of design infrastructure then we'll also go in and and uh, we might set up alignments for them, and then we might check station offsets and uh, do some other checking to make sure that stuff's in the right spot. So what I want to do is show you how we put this survey base drawing together. So I'm in Carlson uh, 21, Carlson 2021, Carlson survey, and I have started a base drawing. I just started it. What's in this drawing right now is uh, the points with my uh, survey control and some of my found property corner monuments and then the resolved boundary line work. So the, the parcel, the line work for the actual fee parcel and uh, and some tie lines. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give her the stuff that I don't want in this drawing. So uh, the engineer, uh, we don't give them any of the tie lines. Uh, they don't care. So we look at those when we're resolving our boundary, uh, but the engineer doesn't care. It just confuses them. So we're gonna go ahead and get rid of those. So I'm just gonna delete the tie lines. Okay, and then we also don't give them any of the uh, found property corner monuments. Okay, those those actually go on a separate, uh, we actually do a resolved boundary drawing, and uh, the engineer doesn't get a CAD copy of that. <laughs> they get a PDF copy of the resolved boundary drawing, but that'll have the monuments in it with all the boundary notes. So I'm gonna just go in and, and go ahead and get rid of all the, uh, the uh, found property corner monuments. So all I want left in this, in this drawing is my control points. So you can see our, our boundaries. Found proper quarter monuments are shot as 500 series, so it's really easy to identify those and get rid of them. Okay, and then uh, what we're doing for this engineer is we're, we're trying, we set, uh, we set on-site and off-site control depending on what phase of the project we're in. On this project, they're actually getting ready to, they're gonna go in and rough grade this thing. So, um, we didn't set any on-site control, but we did set some off-site control. So you see we've got four control points to the north, and we've got a couple control points down here on the south. And they actually, uh, they've actually done some work to the north here. So these two points here are their points that we tied back in. And uh, I think I'm, I might be missing a control point down here, but I don't want to worry about that for this video. So got one more tie line to get rid of. So, uh, now we're ready to start the base drawing. Okay, so I have my, my primary control and I have my uh, line work for my resolved boundary on just the subject parcel. Okay, so uh, the first thing we want to do is we want to go in and we want to label each property corner of the boundary with the coordinate. Okay, and we're going to use this tool uh, under annotate, label coordinate elevation. That's the tool we're going to be using. So it comes up with this dialog here. You can see I've set my layer name. For the labels, I've set the textile. Um, I've got my prefixes here, and I'm actually going to just want to add a space after these. 
and then um, I, you know, I've set my text height and my arrowhead size. I want uh, northing easting elevation. That's the order I want. Okay, so uh, this is basically where I want it, the way I want it. You can load and save these settings. In fact, I'm going to save these because I made a couple quick changes. So uh, you can save, once you get these settings the way you want, you can save them and then the rest of your team can load those settings. So I'm going to, I keep these in templates, RHCAD, Carlson, and it's this RH coordinate labels text file. Okay, so then you just hit OK, and it's going to prompt you to either pick a point or a point number. So for this, we're going to just pick the point on the drawing. Then it asks you for a description. So this one's just going to be property corner because there's no monument set there, right? And uh, we try and keep these outside of the parcel if we can, because they're going to have the stuff going on in the inside of the parcel. Okay, and uh, it'll prompt you a second uh, to do a second point if you don't cancel out of the command like me. Okay, so property corner. So you can see it's just giving us northing easting elevation property corner. Okay. I'm actually gonna, gonna redo these real quick. So let me run that command one more time. There's one thing I want to fix here in our settings. Uh, I want to put the foot tick on there. So it'll prompt you for the point, put in your description, and then it'll hold that description for you. So you can just hit enter to, to get that same description again. Okay, so we're just going to do all the corners of the parcel. Now this one's a little bit different because it has a monument mark in it, so I am going to tell the engineer that. I'm just going to say marked by rebar, just so they know there's something on that corner. Something happened there. Okay, so now we've got our corners done. Okay. This one, uh, this one, I got got too far away from the corner, so I'll just move that up and adjust that. Okay. All right. Now, <clears throat> what I like to do is I like to identify my property corners, uh, and so I'm going to call this uh, PC one. Uh, we just like to identify those, so when we're talking to the engineer. Or somebody else working on the project, we can just say, look at PC1 or look at PC2. And this is just in text now, so it's really easy to just, you can just go in and edit this. PC2. Okay, so we're going to just number these. And these, uh, we'll show these same corner IDs on our record of survey or our final map if we do that. I think this is going to be a be a subdivision map. So we'll show these. So everything will tie together across the work products. Those IDs, they don't change. Okay, now this one's a, a little bit tricky. It, Carlson was smart enough to know that there was a point there. So it added this point label, but I don't want to do that. That's going to go on the, that's going to go on the, you know, go on the resolve boundary. But I am going to use the same number. So I'm going to just call this PC506. Okay. And uh, that one's, yeah, I'll leave that for now. It's a little far away, but I'll go ahead and leave it. Okay, so we've got the control done now. Now the other thing we want to do on the boundaries, we want to go ahead and add our bearings and distance labels. So we're going to come into annotate, bearing distance, and we're going to go ahead and drop those on. And I want to, I want to try and get them on the outside. So uh, it's a little bit tricky sometimes to get that to work. So. It's a, one of these two, and you just gotta figure out which one to use. Depends on which way the lines are drawn. So I try to get those on the outside, just makes it a little cleaner for the engineer. 
So that's the wrong one. Use the other one for that one. Okay, so we've got our bearing and distance labels around our boundary now. Okay, so the, the last thing we're going to do to set up the survey base uh, in model space, we've got a sheet too, but is we're going to label the control coordinates. So let's do that. And I know I'm at 10 minutes, so this is going to go a little bit long. I, pr I probably won't do all of them, but I'll show you how to do a few of them, a couple of them at least. Okay, so again, we're going to go in and annotate that. We're going to use that same command. It's going to be a little bit different this time. So we're going to label coordinates elevation. Okay, but when it comes up, we're going to hit OK. But instead of picking the point, we're going to enter the point number. So I'm just going to type in 452. And uh, it's going to ask me for a description. So this is a BME, that's the company name, Magnail. And then uh, you'll notice now it's got the point number at the top, which is what we want. Okay, I'm going to just do one more of those. So we're going to say 99. Again, typing in the number. This is an iron pipe with red plastic cap. Okay. And uh, what I do after I um, create those labels is I just come in, because we're working with this company and they've got their own crews, we just like to label whose point is that. So these are both, uh, these are both BME control points. So if these were a redefined horizon control point, I would put RH instead of BME. Oh, looks like I'm in trouble with my wife. Um, I better take this call, guys. So I'm going to end this video, and uh, we'll do one, at least one more video on how to set up a super base truck.